my name is Sonnet and I love crochet and amigurumi making and Halloween things and weird things and the autumn time. <laughs> and in today's video we have even more amigurumi patterns, but these are not going to be Halloween themed ones. These are going to be more just fall themed ones. Ones that you can have out all year long because who cares how you decorate at what time of the year, but also ones that are not just Halloween specific, but the most perfect time of year where the weather is changing and the leaves are falling and it's just, who doesn't love the autumn time? But let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. Let's start off with the free patterns because I'm all about free things. Now this first pattern is called Pieter the Pumpkin. And this is a pattern by Musine. I did find this one over on Ravelry and I decided to go with this one because it's pumpkins. You can't get more fall themed than a pumpkin, but it's not your typical pumpkin. This is a pumpkin man and he is so funny and I love him. He has these little suspenders on, which are super cute. And he has this expression on his face that is basically how I feel 90% of the time. Now, one thing I do wanna say about this pattern while I was looking over it. Now, a lot of the head is worked in the back loops only. So if you're like me and after so many back loops, you're over it, might wanna skip out on this one. However, I will be trying it. The texture and just the overall pumpkin appearance that it's going to give this pumpkin is going to be absolutely worth it. Also, his head is crocheted flat, so in a panel, and then you will twist it and shape it to become a cylinder to become his pumpkin head. I would say this pattern is probably more on the advanced beginner. Nothing looks terribly difficult, but it does appear that there is quite a bit of sewing. So if you are fairly new to crochet and you've made a couple of plushies and you're feeling pretty comfortable with it, you should be able to tackle this one. So the next pattern is this crochet turkey. <laughs> this is a pattern by Craft Passion and I wanted to include some kind of turkey in this video, but all of them are so cute and sweet, which I love, but but you know, I do love a little kind of goofy, weird amigurumi in there. So when I found this one, although he's not weird, I just thought this one was so sweet. He was so, so sweet. His little expression just really got to me. And I think the colors of this amigurumi are outstanding. So this is a pattern on Craft Passion's blog. And in the pattern, it does say that this pattern is an intermediate to advanced pattern. So if you are new to crochet or amigurumi making, I wouldn't, do this one. No, uh, it seems like there's a lot of color changes. There is a lot of specialty stitches. There is a lot of sewing. There's just a lot of stuff. Although he is adorable, there is just a lot going on and it does appear that it's gonna take a bit of time to create. And judging by some of the stitch counts when it comes to the body, I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty big as well. So if it is a cool, autumn week that you have, because I don't think you'll be able to do this one at night. Maybe, I don't know. You're probably a faster crocheter than I am. But if you have some fall time and you just want to sit back, have a nice, cozy, warm beverage, listen to some of those fall atmospheric videos on YouTube. I just love those. And crochet up this turkey. I think that would be so fun. Oh my gosh perfect for Thanksgiving. If you host Thanksgiving for anybody, you can then put it in your centerpiece for your table. Had to include a turkey and he's great. The next pattern is over on Ribbler. And my gosh, I know I love kind of weird amigurumi, but this one is so adorable. It's just cute too cute. This is Penelope, the pumpkin spice latte bear. This is by the designer crocheting all day. Again, it does say it's a free pattern over on Ribbler. I always struggle getting the free patterns on Ribbler. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but if you figured that out, then this one is over there. It is so cute. It's a little white polar bear as a pumpkin spice latte. It's got the little pumpkin on the head and it's fall time pumpkin spice latte time. So I thought this one was perfect. It's free, it's cute. And I probably will be making this one because you guys know me. I love pumpkin spice lattes and I love to make them even more. <laughs> Next up is an Instagram pattern. Now I love a good Instagram pattern. I think they are so fun. Now this is a pattern by designer Flamingo at the window. And these are the mushroom wildlings. Wow, <laughs> these are so cute, holy cow. 
Mushrooms are big. They are everywhere. There are a ton of mushroom patterns, but I've never seen things quite like these. These kind of do remind me a little bit of like Imkins meet mushrooms. And I like the one with a really fun curly top. I think that's really cute. I just love these. I think they're darling. I think they're so cute. And I just, I had to include them because it's an Instagram pattern. It's free and they are so fun and just kind of a little bit different than the mushrooms that we see and make a lot. Next up, we have a pattern by Grace and Yarn, and it's this little tiny acorn. When I was looking up patterns to make for fall, I didn't want to just bombard you guys with a bunch of pumpkin things. So I was sitting there thinking, what else is like a fall symbol? What do people think of when they think of fall and autumn time? And apparently it's acorns and this one is really cute. This pattern looks like it works up super fast. It does look relatively easy. The website doesn't say what the difficulty of this is, but there are a bunch of reference materials for beginners. So I would say if you are at least an advanced beginner, you should be able to create this darling acorn. You should be able to whip it up super fast. This one would be so fun in a variety of yarn weights. You can make little tiny ones into keychains. You can make big plushy ones as cute plushy ones. There are also a lot of progress photos on the website, which you guys know I absolutely love. I think a especially if you're a beginner and you're new to amigurumi making, having reference pictures is so important. So if you're over pumpkins and mushrooms this fall, but you still wanna create something cute, definitely check out this acorn. Now the last project is not necessarily fall. It doesn't scream fall, but it can if you want it to. <laughs> And that's this darling little teacup. I found this on Amigurumi today, which is actually not a website that I visit a lot. I don't know why, I'm sure they have great patterns, but I saw this one and I thought this would be really fun to include. For me, one of my favorite things about fall is being able to actually drink warm beverages. And I love tea. Over the past summer, I got really into herbalism and things. And so I grew a ton of chamomile and other different tea type of herbs. And so I just, I love to make tea now. So I had to include this darling little teacup. It does also have the tea bag, which is fun. A lot of teacup amigurumi patterns don't have the tea bag. So the fact that it does have the bag is really cute. You could change up the colors to definitely be more fall. And who knows, maybe you can get really creative and embroider some pumpkins or leaves or acorns or other fall symbols on the cup itself to really give it those fall vibes. One thing I do wanna say though, is in order to read this pattern, you do need to have an account with Amigurumi today. So if you're not into signing up for every website out there, which I totally understand, you might not be able to access this one. Now that we have looked at our free patterns, let's go ahead and jump into our fall themed paid patterns. Now the first pattern is from the designer Lulu's Little Shop, and they are these caramel apples. Actually, the pattern is called candied apples, but they're candied and caramel apples. Apples and fall, caramel and fall, put them together. You have a delicious apple-y, caramel-y fall themed snack. And I love a good caramel apple. Such a delicious fall treat and really fun to make. They're one of those kind of snacks that you just, you like to make and you like to decorate yourself. I, at least I do. So I had to include these because there are a ton of apple amigurumi patterns out there, but I've never seen caramel ones like this. They're not so whimsical, cartoony looking. They are definitely more, you know, realistic looking, which I actually really liked about these ones. And now I want a caramel apple because that sounds really yummy, so. <laughs> Okay, we talked about weird pumpkin people in the free patterns, but let's get into weird pumpkin people that are paid. This is from the designer shop for the patterns and this pattern is called Halloween pumpkin head. And that's what this is, oh my gosh. These little pumpkin heads with their little dead looking eyes and their overalls, Oh my, these are so cute. One even has a little bandana, which I think is so darling. I love them. They're so weird. They're kind of creepy and I want to make them like right now. I think they're really fun. I think these would work out great with the Barunko vintage that I really like because they would give them more of like a vintage feel, kind of a fuzzy halo effect and make them just look that much more kind of cutesy weird. 
I just love them. I think they're really fun. I don't think I've ever made anything from this pattern designer before, but I do have a lot of their patterns in my wish list. But yeah, these little pumpkin people are so fun. More pumpkins. Yes, the next pattern that's paid is more pumpkins because it's fall. But these are not typical pumpkins because they're sheep. Sheep pumpkins. These are sheepkins by the designer Elizetta and I love these guys. Yes, they're pumpkins and we've all made a million of them, but these ones are sheep and they're very funny. <laughs> they look to be relatively small. So these ones look like they would be a really fun, quick project if you want to make them. And who knows, maybe you have that very rustic farmhouse type of decor in your home and you're looking for fall patterns to decorate. Well, what's more fall rustic farmhouse than a sheepkin? <laughs> so cute, I love them. I love this idea. And uh, I think I need to gift these to people. And I will definitely be checking out more from this designer because they have some other patterns in their shop that are just incredible. Oh my gosh, I love them. So definitely check out this designer, especially if you're into Hollow Knight. Next up, we have just an icon when it comes to pumpkins and fall time. And just really this time through like Christmas, it is his time of the year. And his name is Charlie Brown. This is from the designer Having Knit Toys and it's a little crocheted Charlie Brown. And who doesn't love Charlie Brown? He's cute, he has his little hair on top. This one does look like it works up relatively quickly. And I just love the size. I love a good amigurumi that fits in your hand. So this one I will definitely be making at some point, even if I don't make it for the fall. Like I said, you could even crochet this around Christmas time. This designer has some really cute dolls. So if you do like to crochet dolls, then definitely check out their shop as well. This next pattern just makes me feel so happy. I don't know what it is. It's just so cute. And that's this crochet mouse pattern. This is from the designer Little Bramble Crochet. And this little mouse in his orange overalls with his little rake and his teddy bear. Oh my gosh, I just love it. He even has this little spider like coming out of his pocket. How darling is that? It just feels so cozy and fall themed. What is it about little woodland creatures that just make you feel so happy? I don't know, I just love it. It's so cute. And he makes me just wanna go and play in the pile of fallen autumn leaves. Oh, so, so wonderful. What a great time of the year this is, right? All of this pattern designer's patterns are straight from Beatrix Potter stories or Bramble Hedge stories. So if you're into that really whimsical kind of painterly, just sweet stories, definitely check out these patterns because those are the vibes that you'll find. The next pattern is this Scarecrow. Wow. This is from the designer Toys Met Lena Elena. And holy cow, the amount of detail on this Amigurumi, it's a lot. Now this pattern doesn't say if the pumpkins or the crows are included. So I don't know. I would hope that the crows are included, but it doesn't state that. So it is possible this pattern is just for the scarecrow. But if the crows are included, then absolutely I will be making this one. These little crows are so cute. And the little scarecrow, he's so darling and I just love it. Super cool. Those button eyes just really add that special touch that I think is really neat. And this pattern designer also has some amazing other fall themed patterns. So definitely check them out. So the last paid pattern I wanna talk about, I just had to include these two brothers. When it comes to more mm, weird, hauntingly cute, but spooky fall vibes, you don't get any better than over the garden wall. So of course I had to include Wirt and Greg in this pattern roundup. I even had to don my Pottsville Harvest Festival shirt in celebration of this video. And let me tell you, now that I have thought about over the garden wall, potatoes and molasses will be stuck in my head uh, for the next week. So that's great. This is from the designer Playful Knots and Wirt and Greg, they're just so cute. They're so iconic. I love them. I'm gonna have to make them at some point because they just make me happy, especially a little Greg. I really like the use of the felt for the eyes to really give that more animated look. And although I think this project will probably take a bit and it's a little bit more on the intermediate to maybe even advanced side, I can't wait to make these two characters this fall. But that's it. That's all the fall patterns that I wanted to talk about today. Let me know what is your favorite thing about fall time. I know we all love it so much. 
But I must say, I think my favorite part is the fact that I can wear short sleeves in the day, but then I have to put on warm clothes at nighttime. I like being warm, but not too hot. And so then the fact that I get that break at night is really nice. And of course, there's just something in the air when it comes to fall that just makes you feel, I don't know, mm, just so good. But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are doing wonderfully. I hope you're having an amazing fall and I will see you all a little later. Bye. Potatoes and molasses.